this polygon side view again. <coughs> Hit the R key. No. No, no, no. Hit the B key for bevel. Bevel this in. Shift click. Bevel it up. Shift click. Bevel it in. Shift click. Blue handle. Shift click. Blue again. And now the red to bring it in. Shift click. Shift click. And I can bring this one out. Shift click. Shift click. A last time and bring it down to here. Drop the tool. Go to perspective. I hit the bevel key to bevel this in. Lift it a bit. Maybe so. Shift click. Bevel this in again. Lift it up again. Drop the tool. So, <clears throat> top area is done, almost. Here we need some more edge hardening. Uh, we need edges in here. Alt C with the count of two. We need edges in here. And probably in here. <clears throat> and another one in here, old C. Now let's see how this looks. Yeah, that makes sense. Top, this here is ceramic. Hmm, maybe I put in an edge here as well. looks like a spark plug. Okay, now let's continue on the bottom. Out of Pixar sub D mode I select this polygon here, go to front view again, bring it down W to here, go to bevel again, bevel this Control set. No, no, no. I start with beveling from here, B. Then we bring this down to here. Shift click in the middle, bevel it out. Shift click to here, bevel it in. Shift click to here. Shift click to here and now on the red handle, bevel it out. Shift click to down to here. Then shift click again to the inside of the thread. Shift click, bring it down. Shift click, you see also the drawing is not a hundred percent accurate, but it's okay. Shift click, then I go to here, shift click again, blue handle, shift click again, and then the red handle. Shift click, red handle again, shift click, blue handle, and we are down, drop the tool. <clears throat> now I need some cuts in here as well, and uh, this time I will use the add loop so I could show both. So I add a loop in here, shift click here, shift click here, shift click. Here, shift click. Here, shift click. Here, drop the tool. Now, <clears throat> first I will select this loop by hitting the L key, go to 
retrospective view, hit the R key and bring this one out on the blue a bit. Check here, yeah, looks good. And this one, perspective again, hit the R key, needs to be further in, like so, drop the tool, and this here seems to be the gasket. I should have, let me bevel this edge here, the B key, bevel it in. like so, drop the tool. Now I select two polys in here, hit the L key, hit the R key, blue, it's not good. Control Z. I need one more edge in here. and hit the R key. That's better. Drop the tool. Now let's see how this looks. Oh, there is a lot of... So I add a loop in here, drop the tool. Then I... this is all metal. I select this edge, this one and hit the up arrow key and then Alt C drop the tool shift tab. Now that looks much better. I put in another one in here add loop here drop the tool. Okay now we can do the bottom by adding a loop in here, maybe so. Then I select all these polygons, hit the L key and hit the B key for bevel and bevel them up quite a lot and hit the delete key. Now I can harden these edges, Alt C, then I can add a loop in here drop the tool, shift tab, have a look how it, yes, that's not bad. Alt C here, Alt C here, Alt C here, then select this middle polygon, hit the B key for bevel, bevel it in and up a bit, shift, click in and up a bit, drop the tool. Perspective view. Shift tab. Now we're almost done. It's only the threads left. Before I start with the threads, I would like to make here the spark things. So I go and select a circle with eight edges, with eight edges, make it two by two millimeters and position it about here. Maybe I make it a bit more, 2.2 .2 by 2.2. .2. and then bevel this in, 
to here, drop the two, then I can delete the middle polygon and I